Hi everyone and welcome to our weekly portion here at eTeacherGroup.com. This week's portion is Vayera and it can be found in the book of Genesis from chapter 18 verse 1 to chapter 22 verse 24. Let's open the Torah scroll and meet our portion. Vayera elav Adonai be'elonei mamre vehu yoshev petach ha'oel kechom hayom. The portion is named Vayera, literally, and he appeared, because it begins with God appearing before Abraham, enabling him to see three angels who came to bring him God's word. Let us understand the first verse together. Vayera, and appeared, Elav, before him, Adonai, the Lord, Be'elonei Mamre, at Elonei Mamre, Vehu, as he, Yoshev, Set, petach, in the door, ha'oil, tent, kechom, in the heat, hayom, of the day. This week's portion begins with three men, angels, who bring God's word to Abraham. Abraham greets them and goes to much trouble in order to please the welcome guests. The three bear an important message. Abraham and Sarah will have a son, despite their old age, a year from the time of the visit. After this, the three men turn towards the sinning city of Sodom, which is to be destructed. God decides to reveal his plan to Abraham, who tries to convince God not to destroy the city, saying that there might be some righteous people there after all. The three men arrive in Sodom and are greeted by Lot, Abraham's nephew. He is apparently the only righteous man in Sodom. The other inhabitants demand that Lot send his guests out to them because they would like to sodomize them, a word which is incidentally created due to this biblical story. Lot refuses and the angels interfere, blinding the people of Sodom and telling Lot to take all his family away from the city before they destroy it. The husbands of Lot's daughters refuse to come with him, and his wife comes but looks back despite a clear command not to do so. She is then turned into a pillar of salt. Therefore, only Lot and two of his daughters are left as refugees from the city, which is destroyed with unusual might. Lot and his daughters flee to the mountains, and the daughters are certain that they are the only people left in the world. They therefore give their father wine in order to make him drunk, and are impregnated by him. The Ammonites and the Moabites are the two peoples who are born as a result of these relations. The city of Sodom and the entire area surrounding it are destroyed and turned into the desolate Dead Sea area. The reason for their destruction is the great moral corruption of the residents. Abraham and Sarah then go to live in the Philistine city of Gog. Abraham again asks Sarah to tell the foreign king Avimelech that she is his sister so that he will not be harmed. Avimelech discovers the truth in his dream after not having touched Sarah at all. He is very angry at Abraham, saying that his conduct was inappropriate and could have caused him great sin. Avimelech invites Abraham to live in his city, and Abraham prays for Avimelech, and the punishment for having taken Sarah is cancelled. Eventually, Abraham and Avimelech make a covenant between them. As predicted, Sarah gives birth to a son, Isaac. Abraham circumcises him when he is eight days old as God commanded him. When the child is weaned, a sign of maturity and of the passing of the critical age of two, Abraham holds a big party for his son. During the party, Sarah sees Ishmael, Abraham's older son, behaving inappropriately, and she demands that Abraham send him away from their house. Ishmael and his mother Hagar go to the Be'er Sheva desert and are lost with no water. An angel reveals himself to them and shows them a well, and they settle in the desert. After the long wait for the birth of Isaac, God tests Abraham's faith by commanding him to kill his son as an offering to God. Abraham intends to do so and is stopped by an angel at the last minute when he is about to slaughter his son. He finds a ram stuck in the bushes and he sacrifices him instead of Isaac. The portion ends with an update about Abraham's brother who remained in Mesopotamia and the children born to him. This prepares us for the marriage of Isaac and Rebekah. That's all for this week. We hope to see you again next week. Have a great week.